Welcome to this new add-on Spotlight. In this add-on Spotlight, we're just going to look at the release notes of the working title CG4 version 0.12.7, which has been released uh, 23 hours ago, as you can see here. Uh, the most important update is that it contains some updated for sim update number five issues, right? Uh, a lot of the add-ons have some issues with it, and there are still some developers working on that. Uh, as you can see also a uh, working title was working on that uh, so there are some uh, release notes here uh, so there are still some known issues and they still um, do recommend to use the access accessibility mode in the uh, new log cockpit interaction system with instrument uh, tooltip off so that's still the strong recommendation so if you're using this method then make sure that the tooltips is set to off because it might cause some issues uh, how to install it? Pretty easy. Simply copy the uh, zip which you download from this side, copy it to the community folder, uh, but keep in mind it's always recommended to remove the previous folder uh, before copying the new release. So what has changed? Uh, if you look at the general changes, uh, they changed the adjusted maximum screen brightness. Right there you can adjust the screen brightness and if you would turn it to maximum it was, I would say, it was readable but it would have been better if they would uh, I'd say add some more brightness. Well, that's what I did. Uh, to fix the, the borrow knob animation and function, that just the, the scale of the PPOs and uh, plan map modes. Uh, so distances are more accurate again in relation to the range rings, right? So they made some change to the map modes because they, uh, I would say the points looked a little bit too close in some cases. So they made it more accurate. That's cool. Uh, they fixed the lower CCP knob, uh, long press for reselecting charts in lock mode, and they fixed entering above below restrictions results in wrong uh, order of A and B, right? So you can set the uh, above and below restrictions uh, in the uh, cockpit, and that I would say they were in the wrong order. That's now fixed. And probably the most important fix is that the uh, SimReef import now skips waypoints, uh, which it's not able to import, but continues to process them. And that was some issue where, uh, for example, you added some waypoints, uh, which were not, let's say, in the uh, navigation database of Flight Simulator. In some scenarios, they resulted in that the flight plan couldn't be imported completely. Now they fixed that and they simply uh, made a modification for that to skip those waypoints. Uh, there are still some uh, known issues. So keep in mind that uh, those are there, right? Um, read to it before reporting an issue to the uh, developer. Uh, as mentioned already, there are a lot of things being changed, like sounds uh, with buttons, some odd indications when hovering over a button or light. That's known. Uh, joystick used for panning charts doesn't work in the Lexi interaction mode. So keep in mind that uh, the, the chart map, which you have in the aircraft, it has a panning option. If you set it to the Lexi interaction mode, you might hit some issues with it. So you need to switch to the new mode, which is the... Uh, cockpit interaction system with instrument tooltips and, and then I would say the tooltips should be set to off but the uh, log cockpit interaction system should be set to say the new method not the Alexi method keep in mind that in that case the buttons will act uh, differently uh, the BC buttons uh, throws an error in the F FMC so the BC back course uh, button so it simply states okay do not, do not use it for now so <laughs> that's the recommendation uh, letter or non-runway specific approaches now appears uh, as something with like uh, RNFA-00 uh, which prevents you from selecting the approach. Um, There's something they're working on. There are some external applica applications that use the GPS uh, flight plan SIMVARs which are also not working correctly. I also saw, saw that issue with some other, uh, I would say, community add-ons. So that will probably be fixed in a recent or a newer version. Uh, loading and saving flights can have bad results. I'm not sure what's meant with this. Uh, maybe it was it's referring to that if you load a flight, that I would say the the aircraft is completely lost. That's also what I was I would say I would exp even experience this prior to simulate number five. Uh, but not sure what they're referring to here. 
and then there are some custom delivery custom livery uh, issues uh, where they have, have some issues with uh, a painter should uh, use a new guide so if you're developing custom liveries make sure you're reading the repainters guide uh, autopilot uh, also could not be triggered via key bindings or controllers and must be uh, triggered in the cockpit with the mouse right so if you try to enable the uh, autopilot in different modes you need to use the mouse to enable them um, external binding applications are adding support for LVARs and HE events uh, and those are described in the guide on SIMVARs and there are some autopilot bank rate limitations uh, that overshoots the range uh, of certain RMP approaches uh, with tight turns. If you encounter that, we recommend hand flying the approach. And so that's always recommended, right? Uh, use the auto or switch off the autopilot when approaching, unless you're, I would say, an autopilot fan and you want to do it all automatically and you don't want to do it man uh, manually. But there are some issues currently with uh, the working title CG4 add on. Uh, so you, as you can see, there's still some work to do, but keep in mind that this add on as a ton of additional functionalities compared to the default cg4 cockpit so it's definitely worth trying it out here ends this spotlighted on i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to subscribe to my channel uh, if you like the video then press the like button and if you want to stay up to date about new videos then consider again subscribing to my channel thanks again for watching and see you next time